Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering what we believe to be the best completely free PDF editor. We're gonna be covering a program called Indigo PDF Tools. When initially launched, Indigo PDF had a paid and a free version, and the paid version included some of the more technical features. However, the platform has been updated so that all of the features are 100% completely free to use, and that's why we think it is the best free editor. Before we jump into the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Now, while we are going to cover the application in this video, if you guys want to see a detailed overview where we show many of the individual tools and how to use them, you can watch that video right here. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're still going to cover the basics of the application. So let's jump on the computer. All right, so once we're inside, we're going to navigate to the Microsoft Store and search for Indigo PDF. This will come up as Indigo PDF Tools, and you can simply click to install it. Again, it's available right from the store, and I've already done that, so I'll just hit Open. Once inside, you'll see something that looks like this, and you can either register or sign into your existing account. So let's go ahead and sign in. All right, so here we are inside of Indigo PDF Tools. Now, we're going to cover how the homepage is laid out and how some of these tools can help you to edit your PDF documents. So first up, we have the multi-operations. These are going to be sort of your general operations. So if you need to view or add text or annotate a PDF, you've got that right here. We also have the pipeline feature, and there's also the PDF multi-tool, which is basically just an array of rearranging tools. Below that, we have page operations. Here we can do additional adjustments to these PDFs. We can adjust the colors and contrast. We can crop, remove pages, organize, etc. This is also where you can find the sign feature. Below that, we have convert PDF. Here's where we can convert to a Word document or even convert it to a PowerPoint presentation. We can convert it to an Excel document, XML, and a host of other useful features. Below that, we have security operations. Here we can encrypt or add a password. We could remove password. We could add a watermark, etc. Unique to the Indigo PDF software is a feature called Sanitize, where we could remove scripts and other elements from PDFs. Below that, we have features such as the OCR. This is going to convert text to images. We can also add an image, extract image, change the metadata, and do several other things. All right, now just to show you guys a quick example, let's go ahead and run through one of these page operations here. Let's say I want to split a two-page document into two single-page documents. I'm going to choose my document first, which is this one here, and I want this to split on page one and two. Next, I'll hit split. It's going to create a zip file automatically, and upon opening that, we will have our two PDF documents with the individual pages. We can also easily add a signature to PDF also under the page operations. We'll choose our file, and I'll go ahead and add a signature to the very bottom of the document. At the top here, I'm gonna change it to text input. I'll sign my name, and I'm good with this font, so I'll click add. You see it added my signature, and I can now drag it down, click and resize to where I want it. I think that looks good, so at this point, I'll go ahead and download the PDF. Just to show you guys a quick convert, we're gonna do PDF to presentation under the convert section. Again, I will click to choose the file, and we'll go with the same one here, and I want this to be a PowerPoint document, so PPTX, and I'll hit convert. And let's go ahead and open that and see what it looks like. As we can see, inside of PowerPoint, I now have two slides instead of a PDF. Let's give you guys a few more examples here. We can add a password to our document, and so it's gonna create a new document that will be password protected. So I will select my signed document, and I'll type a password. And let's go ahead and encrypt that. When I open this new document, it's going to require a password. And if I type that in, it will give me access. Last step, let's try to add an image to a PDF. This option is in the miscellaneous category. So I'll select my PDF. And now I want to choose another file again to add the image. Once I've added my image, I can click and drag to resize or reposition. And it's just going to serve as an overlay to the already existing document. So again, I can sort of reposition that, fit it where I want, like maybe right here. And I'll press download PDF. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about using Indigo PDF tools or getting started with it, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.